Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda Rose for those of you that are new to my channel and this is your first time tuning in. So today I'm going to be doing a, the kind of part two to my previous video, which was my favorites for January. And now I'm going to be doing my hate it for January and the beginning of February. So yeah, let's just jump right into it. Um, I ran out of memory on my camera in the previous video, so that's why I had to cut it short and extend it now which is on a new video so i hope you guys don't mind and so let's just jump right into it also if you guys want a tutorial on this makeup look i'm wearing which is gorge just let me know in the comments below and i'll be more than happy to do it i also do a lot of makeup tutorials on my snapchat so i will also leave that down in the description bar so you guys can follow me on that too and i will follow you guys back so yeah let's just jump right into it i have quite a few not too many I usually I mean I tried a lot of products so I have a lot of good I have a lot of bad so the first bad I want to talk about is these guys right here and they're the Neutrogena Hydra Boost so Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Tint I have the shade in natural beige 60 Cocoa 115, and that's exactly how they spell it, and Nude 40. So these are them right here. I will swatch them for you guys on the back of my hand. So this is a 115 Cocoa. It's a very thick consistency, as you can tell. And they smell like chemicals. Bad. And then this is Natural Beige 60. And when I first saw this foundation, I was like, oh, cool. It's going to be a dupe for the Clinique 2-in-1 foundation and concealer, you know. And this is in the shade Nude 40. And as you can see, it's very thick, very cake-like. But my problem with this is... Okay, so my clinique one which is this one right here the clinique beyond perfecting two-in-one foundation it has the same doe foot applicator you know it's pretty thick just like this stuff where it's a little bit more creamier but my only one of my things with this guy is you put it on it looks like it's gonna be full coverage it's really thick um i get past the smell the smells don't really bug me but when you blend this out, it looks so patchy. It's insane. Like Love Melissa Michelle. She did a review on it. And you could see as she's blending it out, it's like mud. Somebody rubbed mud all over her face and there's patches all over it. She did an amazing review on it. So go check that out if you guys want to see it. Also, I will do a review on it if you guys want to know. But it is so shitty. Like, it wasn't even worth my time to do a review on it. Don't waste your money on it. I mean, and it oxidizes. So, I got all these shades, and once they oxidized on my skin, they looked horrible. As you can see, I got light, medium, dark, pretty much. And as they sat on my skin, they oxidized within like 5-10 minutes, and my skin looked muddy. It was horrid to blend out i tried a beauty blender a blush a sponge my hand everything and nothing worked with it um the next thing i want to talk about is this smashbox cover shot soft light eye palette now i just talked about a few of these in my favorite video but this one the reason why i don't like this one is because the quality is good don't get me wrong but these shades they're all shimmer None of them are matte at all. I mean, so you can't even get a full look out of this palette. I mean, the, the yeah, the shimmer shades are, are good, but, you know, little palettes like these, I like them because they're good for travel. But I can't just take this palette. I would have to take this palette and another palette on top of it to get the look I wanted, you know? So... It's just frustrating when a palette comes and it's just full of shimmers because then you can't even create a look. You know, I mean, not everybody likes a whole look, eye look with just 
plain shimmers, you know? So that's my only thing with it. Other than that, I mean, the quality is very good. The next thing I want to talk about are these Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencils. So I have the shades 215 Auburn, 220, 220 Dark Brown, and 210 Soft Brown. And I will swatch them on the back of my hands for you. So it is pretty cool. It comes with a nice little spoolie on one end. And then on the top, it kind of looks like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. But they're so waxy, and that's my problem. I, mean, I guess some people might like that, but for me, they're so waxy that it literally sticks to my brow hairs. And wherever I put this pencil and draw in, that's exactly the way my brow hairs are going to stay. And not in a nice way to where, you know, where it would look if you set it with a brow gel. No. It is so waxy. Like, I don't know if you could tell. I'm trying to build it up a little bit. How waxy that is. And then once you start using the pencil, it starts going down. And then it turns just like to this weird shape. And it's so hard to get that nice flaky brow in the front with these pencils. It's ridiculous. And they're so waxy. I mean, I cannot say how waxy they are enough. Like, they just stick to the brow, you know? It feels like you're putting glue in your, Gorilla Glue, in your brow and letting it dry. And that's what it reminds me of. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Face, Prime, I, face Primer. I actually just talked about the setting spray in my favorite video. I really like that. But this guy, this guy's like water, like... You see how it just came out right there? It's like water. Like you can see it running down my wrist. It's like fucking water. And it's still, it's supposed to be silicone based, right? And it has an SPF of 18 in it. But when I got it, I thought it was going to be like my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer or my Baby Skin by Maybelline, which I adore this primer. But no, it wasn't. It left me a greasy mess, and I do not want my face looking greasy. I mean, I don't think any of us do. The next is also a primer. I have a lot of drugstore because I've been doing like a ton of drugstore hauls. So this is the Milani Prime Light Face Primer Strobing Plus Form minimizer so it does stroke but my problem with this is it leaves glitter all over my face and when I want a strobing cream I like my my Becca backlight or the I was looking for it the Maybelline master you know something like that or the Mac strobe cream something like that I don't want glitter all over my face and it did not more to minimize my pores the next is this this is the Lancome La Base in shade nude 03 and this is I thought it was gonna be like my Mac soft ochre paint pot but it is again it kind of leaves my lids greasy and when it's when you put your powder on it even I find even when I do put my powder on it it still creases my lids, and I'm not into that. This is the La Base in 03 by Lancome. Next is by Tarte, and thank God I got a sample size instead of the full size, but this is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I hate this shit. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, it's very finely milled, but... It gives me such the worst flashback, and it makes my bronzer, my highlight, my blush, everything that I would have put on top of this, it makes it look like patchy. How your face would look if you put a cream on top of a powder, you know, something like that, but a million times worse, and it gives such the worst back, um, flashback. 
ever. I hate it. The next one is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover, and I have all the shades in this. My problem with this is it's very gray. Um, I have a very yellow based undertone, and this one gives a very gray undertone. I do, I love the packaging. I wish I had more foundations in this packaging, but this just leaves my face so gray, it's insane, and it makes me look sick. So, total pass on that one. The next are, last but not least, of course, are these liquid lipsticks. Now, I have quite a few. So let me just wipe my hand off with those other swatches. The first one I want to start with are these. Oh wait, I have one more, but that's not a lip. This is the Morphe Concealer, and this is in the shade Toast. Now, this one is, I thought it was going to be a really good concealer, but it's not. And the reason why it's not is it's just too thick it is too thick to go underneath the under eyes like you know like with the tart shaped tape it, it's thick and full coverage but it blends out beautifully this one doesn't blend out it's like once you put it on there that's where it's going to stay and that's how thick it's going to be i mean it's only three dollars but i would rather use my wet and wild concealer that's only two dollars you know like i would rather use something else other than that morphe one so let's jump into some liquid lips so these wet and wild naked cat suits i just said some of my favorites the lighter shades of these are amazing but once you get into these vampy shades like this is a uh, video vixen in 931b i thought it was going to be amazing i love these liquid lips but as you can see as I'm putting it on it's very patchy it doesn't leave a consistent color and once it dries down it starts to completely flake off I had it on for probably about like 30 minutes and the next thing you know I'm talking I have a bunch of flakes of liquid lipsticks in my mouth and then this is in the shade give 925 B give me mocha and this one is just right in between. This one you could kind of get away with and it can kind of not, you know. But just, it's when these darker shades dry down, they flake off really bad. And that's what I'm not a fan of. And also the Mega Cushions. These, this one's not even opened yet. I bought both the shades that they had at my drugstore. And I didn't even open this one because the other one was so crappy. But it has a little cushions hop. But the same thing, it's not consistent with the color and it just comes off very patchy and then it starts to chip. And then the next ones are these Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. And these ones are weird. I'm just going to show you with this dark one, but the darker shades on these ones are the, it's like the complete opposite with the wet and wild. The darker shades are beautiful. I'm actually wearing one underneath that other lipstick today. Um, the darker shades are beautiful, but the lighter shades now those ones start to chip off and start to break and they just look crappy within 45 minutes into wearing the liquid lip and then also with this vivid matte liquid lipstick and this one it's just these ones the formula on them are so inconsistent i mean some are really great some are really bad it's just the formula is not consistent and i don't want to reach into a liquid lipstick thinking it's amazing put one wear one color two color three colors that are amazing and then one day i really need one put it on and i get halfway through the day or 20 minutes into wearing a lip and it looks like shit you know so that's something that really bugs me when brands are inconsistent with their products and i just i hate that but yeah and they're a bitch to get off like you can't even get that off you know so when it flakes it doesn't even look nice but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share. Leave me a comment down below. I will reply back to you guys. Follow me on my social medias. I will leave it in the description box below. Just as everything else. And watch my previous video, which is my favorite. Which I talk about so many favorites for this month. So yeah, if you guys like my video, subscribe. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye, beautiful people.